Four Blanchard Valley Conference teams made the postseason, and three won last week to advance to the regional semis, including Macomb and Lipsick. Tomorrow night, the two BVC rivals will take the field at Donnell Stadium, and the 6-5 and five Vikings are feeling good after a dominant 35-3 win over Arlington. Yeah, we played as a team. Our defense, we flew to the ball finally all first time all year. Well, we're, right now, we're doing pretty good. The kids are playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, you know, I like how our defense is swarming the football. Obviously, that goal line stand was huge before halftime. Offensively, we uh, got some balance. Uh, also, a lot of confidence on that side of the ball. And I think that balance is going to help us. Week 11 was a different story for Macomb. The top seed in Region 24 won a nail-biter versus Crestview 27-26, scoring in the game's final minutes. Never underestimate any opponent. Um, and I'm not sure we did. I think Crestview just came out ready to play. And, and the, the good thing for us is, you know, we came back a couple times we were down and the kids showed a lot of character and a lot of heart and got the job done when we needed to. It was tough going, we haven't been down before since week one. So it was definitely a different mental focus, but we're a good team. So good teams find a way to win and that's what we did. Survive and advance. Now the Panthers face a Lipsick team that they defeated 37-8 to in week six, but they're not taking the Vikings lightly. Kids are ready to go. They, they know they can't, they gotta be ready to play. Lipsick's a lot better than when we played them uh, the first time around. I think we just need to read our keys better and just stay focused. It's more mentally than it is physically. So if we stay mentally focused, I think we'll be fine. Breck is their main threat. He touches the ball about 80% of the time or more. You know, number one, their quarterback, he throws the ball well. Somehow we have to create pressure and get to him. The third thing is Brown. You know, Brown's very good, and, and they've got cup on both offense and defense. So they've got some players that can play, and, and we have to somehow contain Breck, their number one threat. You know, we're going to have to play our best game of the year. They're a really good team. Obviously, they've proven that. They're 10-1. and one. Uh, you know, they didn't play the greatest last week, but they still won. And, and we realize we can't sit around and wait for them to play bad, um, that we're going to have to force the issue. They run the ball very, they do everything very well. They're, they have a lot of talent. For Lipsick, it's the second straight playoff game against a conference opponent. You know, there, there's the familiarity, which is a benefit. Uh, you have a feel for things they're going to do, uh, things that you do well. I think every year we've been in the playoffs, if we make it the second round, it's probably going to happen. You know, it's, it's, it's another chance to play, and, and we just got to strap it on and be ready to go. Nobody on this team's been in Week 12 yet, so they're excited. They realize McComb is uh, the, the favorite in Region 24, and we're excited about our chance. With the Panthers and Vikings, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.